Welcome to HealthHealthMath.com. Today we're going over the example of the central limit theory. Uh, you could check the previous video that uh, we have the information or idea about the central limit theory. Uh, we have the example here. The SAT score has a mean score of 998 with a standard deviation of uh, 202. A simple random sample, of course, of uh, size n of n different scores has been selected, or we'll find the probability that their mean score is at least uh, 1,100. Uh, the criteria of uh, central limit theorem, two things need to be clear, right? The distribution of the population and the sample size n. But uh, based on that, we may or may not uh, able to follow the central limit theorem. So given uh, the question, the body didn't mention it clearly, but given parts, we say, well, SAT scores are normally distributed The first uh, question here, SAT score are normally distributed, then also the sample size is 25. In that case, as long as the population is normal distribution, we do not need a uh, large sample size. Any sample size of n can make the sample mean to follow the normal distribution. Right? We mentioned that the mean from the sample mean is the same as the population mean and the standard deviation of the sample mean will be standard deviation of the population divided by radical n. That's 202 divided by radical 25. And when we find the probability general formula when it's uh, followed the normal distribution, which is just uh, the cutting score minus the mean divided by the standard deviation, which the mean of the sample mean is same as the population mean. And the standard deviation of the sample mean is standard deviation divided by radical n, as we find them here. Right, the second case, We do not know the st uh, distribution of the population. SAT score in this case follows. Uh, we don't have. We don't know the distribution of the population of the SAT score. But uh, n in this case is 50, which uh, we have the condition that for unknown population, the sample size is large enough, which uh, is greater than 30. We can make the sample mean follow the normal distribution which uh, the mean is uh, same as the population. The standard deviation of the sample mean is uh, 202 divided by radical of uh, 50. Right? Since the n size is uh, large enough, then we can use the uh, normal distribution to help us to figure out the probability. The third case that uh, we have unknown distribution of the population and sample size in this case is uh, less than 30. Right? The less than 30 in that case we have 20 here. Right? Then the sample mean can not follow the, or, or cannot approximate it by the normal distribution. Then the central limit theorem uh, cannot help us to take this question. 